This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video in the Checkmate Ranked server. This time I'm going to be playing with the Performer Pal Zodiac deck. Um, some changes have been made to it since I posted it on uh, on my channel where I got 22nd place at the, uh, at the, um, the, the, blah, 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 the thingo, the ARG Atlanta. Uh, I've I've changed the list a tiny bit just to better suit my, uh, my needs and purposes. Uh, so there's that. Basically just increasing the deck size and stuff like that. All that sort of nonsense. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to play this for a few more videos just because of the fact that, you know, it's it's something that it's a deck that a lot of people seem to misunderstand. And honestly, I think that unless the Pendulum Magi the Pendulum Magician stuff I've been reading, the new Pendulum Magician stuff, I've been rather underwhelmed by it when I thought that like people made it sound like it was literally broken. When in reality it actually just doesn't do a lot. Um, it doesn't do a lot different from what the deck already had access to. So the biggest issue I'm having with it is that it doesn't really do that much uh, comparative to its its like previous counterpart. Like it adds a cool gimmick, a cool dynamic. I I completely believe that it's really interesting and really cool, but at the same time, it just doesn't do as much as I thought it would, and that kind of puts me off from the deck in general. Um, and I think this deck might just be superior to it because of the fact that this deck still gets access into Zoo plays, the Performer Pal engine is still incredibly strong, the advantage yielded seems a lot more relevant. Uh, things like that. So I wanted to play this deck for the channel before I went and did some, you know, of the new Pendulum Magician stuff um, going into that. But so, we'll activate this in the scale, uh, do the Duelist Alliance shenanigans. Now there's no Tornado Dragon in Master Deck for this game, uh, which is going to probably prove to be a problem or an issue because the Checkmate server does not allow you uh, to play with Tornado Dragon because it is a TCG exclusive. Um, and that's something that really irritates me <laughs> on a pretty big level. Uh, now the thing is here is I can get the uh, Pendulum Sorcerer, or I could just get Ariadne, and Ariadne would be able to be popped by Pendulum Sorcerer because I can still need normal summon the uh, the Skulker Bat Joker, um, get get Turtle, put that in my scale, yeah. Um, so this will just give me an extra card because I've already got access to the Skulker Bat Joker or the uh, the Pendulum Sorcerer rather here, and the Skulker Bat Joker. So we'll just uh, we'll do this. We'll normal summon. We'll use its effect, and its effect here will add. Uh, get turtle, because then when I pendulum summon this card, I'll be able to do a bit more. Now, uh, this is the only card in my extra deck that I can pendulum, but I can pendulum this from hand, which is something that I'm probably going to end up doing, or I could just hold the fact that it's information. Uh, but I could pop these cards, I could pop this in Ariadne, there's a few different capabilities I have here, but I will pendulum summon just the one. Uh, so we'll just we'll just do this. It's a, it's a variation of the play, but it still yields us with a good amount of card advantage. Uh, so we'll do this. We'll pop this in the uh, in the low scale. That way, it clears up the spot for the for the lizard draw that I'm going to search. And then the skull for bat Joker is a nice follow up. So from there, the Ariadne can trigger. And every time I reveal with Ariadne, I reveal Strike Strike Warning uh, because it forecasts that you have a Solemn Strike in your hand already if you're revealing just those cards. Uh, so that's something cool that I like to do. Uh, but so I don't have any other cool things to do except for just draw cards here um, and that's that's fine there's so that's a ghost ogre that's really good that's one of the cards that got added into the list was ghost ogre and another lizard draw which is fantastic that means next turn I just get to start my turn with the turtle lizard draw that's fucking great uh, but so what I get to do here is I can actually make double digesto emerald uh, and that's probably what I'm actually going to do because I've got access into this which can search a card next turn anyway um, so it just it yields me more cards if I do this so we're going to do this because normally I'd end with Tornado Dragon somewhere, but because Tornado Dragon doesn't exist um, on the Checkmate server, that's the biggest problem. But so we'll shuffle that back, draw a card. That's tanky. That's really good. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go into Tiger Mortar on top of this, and then Tiger Mortar can rotate Rat back underneath it, which can get the Rat from uh, from deck. Um, I was I was really scared there. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro has been doing this weird glitchy thing where it just doesn't click the right card, even though I hover over it, and it's probably because of the fact that I'm playing it on my huge monitor versus my smaller laptop monitor. 
Um, and the reason I'm playing it on the big monitor is so that I can actually have access to the high-res um, texture pack for these cards to make the videos look better. Because the HD textures... Uh, why did I do this? <laughs> Oops. Um, well, actually, no. It's just, This is still salvageable. Completely. Um, I just put Dryden on top of this. And uh, I use Dryden to detach. Pop my barrage. And uh, the barrage will go under the Dryden, so it never lost a material. And then I get to Emerald. Yeah, that's what we do. That's the way it's done. Uh, so we'll detach this, we'll shuffle this, this, and this back, because I've got double Chalk and Nine in my extra deck anyway, so there's no reason to do anything else. So we've drawn four cards. I've got a new Pendulum Sorcerer. Yay. Um, I can use Tenki here to add another Whip Tail. And then I've got the Strike, the Ghost Ogre, the Dryden. I don't care if I get board wiped. Uh, because I've got so many cards in my accessibility pool, and the Emeralds already did their work, essentially. They've already done what I needed them to do. They've given me an, an additional card. Uh, both of them have. So even if I get Raigeki or Darkhold here, the only thing I'm realistically losing is the Dryden, and I don't care about that. Uh, because I didn't need the Barrage, because I've got access into Pendulum summoning these cards next turn and going into my stuff. So there's really no reason to, to even fret about it. Ah, Pacifist! Good! Good, 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 good. I get to show people how you literally just don't let this deck play. <laughs> Amazing. It's almost like it's almost like this is karma for all the bullshit I've had to deal with. All right. So you can activate that. Sure. Cool. You'll normal summon your vanilla. You'll oh activate tanky. Okay. Yeah, you can activate the tanky. That's fine. A good player will never let pacifist stay on the field because that's the entire way that you play this deck. Um. So that's all you have to do. So Gene Warp Warwolf. I will activate... I'll activate Dryden, actually. Well, I'm, I'm going to activate the Ghost Ogre, actually, on it. Because if I activate Dryden, that opens him up to having that shitty trap card in his hand that can be activated from hand that prevents me from... Uh, or that could negate my Dryden's effect, and then I lose my ability to Ghost Ogre. So, uh, yeah. This Solemn Strike is going to be really, really not worth... Um, uh, let's see. At the end of the battle phase of the Equip Monster Battle, you can special summon a Phantasm Spiral. Sure. So which one are you going to attack? If you fuck up and attack this Dryden, you're going to get got. Um, but this doesn't protect it from being killed by Dryden in any way, shape, or form. He's attacking the Emerald. Okay. Well then, what we're going to do is we're going to use this Dryden on this. You can't activate the trap that negates your ship from hand. So now you've lost two cards. Oh, this deck is terrible. I almost, I really wish that I had the face cam active for when I did my playing against this, or with this deck, because, oh my god, I would have legitimately just broken new ground for how angry someone can look on screen. Um, but so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll rotate this out, okay, we'll rotate this out for another card, uh, another Pendulum Sorcerer, <laughs> cool, uh, cool man, and now the thing is I don't even care if I get, like, striked. Um, because, like, if I do, then got me. Like, <laughs> that's literally it. Um, I'll activate this under the Dryden, right? And I'm going to use the Dryden's effect to get rid of this Tanky just because it's a free card. And that makes my Digusto Emerald alive. Um, so that's what we're going to mess with. This is the shit we're going to be doing. So I get to shuffle back these three cards. And then that means that I get to uh, Tiger Mortar, Equip Rat, and I get to do a, uh, a Rat play at some point during this turn. Uh, which I could do actually literally right now. I don't even have to Pendulum Summon. That's what's fucked up, is I don't even have to Pendulum Summon. Um, <laughs> uh, but I'll add Part Naga here. Uh, the Pendulum Sorcerer, if I Pendulum Summon, it's not going to do anything. Uh, so yeah, li there's literally no way that you can beat a good player playing a deck with the Phantasm Spiral deck. Like, you just, you get got. And like, I outplayed the shit out of him because I almost activated Dryden. And like, the thing is, I want to check the replay. I want to check this replay. I want to see if he had the trap that I was talking about. What, battle or whatever its name is? Or power, one of the two? We're going to check that. Be right back. This guy literally had nothing. He had Ojama Trios, <laughs> which I can actually understand. I can actually understand Ojama Trio being in this deck because you need to give your opponent shit that you can reliably attack over. So I guess that makes sense, especially since like you got the thing that gives uh, piercing. But he just had a Megalo Smasher. He had that for Pacifist. He had nothing. So, me being smart and playing around his shit was literally, like, irrelevant. But at the same time, it was, because if I didn't Ghost Ogre his pacifist, if I had Dryden'ted it, 
He could have summoned his gene warped, equipped his thing, and then swung over my monster freely, and then he would have gotten a big Phantasm Spiral dude. Not that it would have mattered, it would have died the next turn very easily to the Dryden popping it. Uh, but, like, goddamn. I just, I can't respect this deck. I can't show this Phantasm Spiral deck any respect in its pure and paleo forms. I can't. I just can't. The deck, the deck has given me some battle scars, some emotional trauma, some wounds deep, deep down in my soul that I can probably never recover from in any way, shape, or form because there are just other anti-meta decks or anti-meta stylish decks that are just better. I'm of the mindset that anti-meta doesn't actually truly exist, but that's a topic that I could go into for possibly another video. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Links as always are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to support the channel directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It helps me make money. It helps me be able to continue to make content in the rate that I'm doing so. It helps make better content possible in the future. All that sort of stuff, as well as the $1 Patreon feed gets opened up to you and you get access into a bunch of questions that I'm asking in terms of what content do you want to see, what sort of stuff is acceptable for you in terms of pricing for budget decks, um, like what order do you want to see these videos go up in terms of I'll present like videos in that I've uh, that I've had ideas for is like which one do you want to see first which one do you want to see second all that sort of stuff if you're interested in that then definitely go check out the patreon page like I said a dollar a month opens up the patreon feed to you and it's just a fantastic way to show your support for the stuff that you uh, that you like if you like this channel but other than that as always smash that like button like this video if you like the content I've been doing and want to see more of it in the future uh, it just really shows that you're liking what I'm doing and I'm gonna continue doing things that you like seeing so there's that but if you're new here consider subscribing if you already haven't I'm definitely going to be playing another uh, dual video with this deck today, uh, so if you want to see more of this deck in action, then definitely be on the lookout for that, as well as go look at the other videos that I've done. I've done a few different like iterations of me playing with this deck on the channel in uh, in the past you know, month, month and a half time frame, stuff like that, because this is a deck that I probably enjoy the most in the format, so I've been playing the hell out of it, so there's that. But anyway, as I've already said, thanks for watching, thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.